butterfly in the sky I can go twice as high Take a look, it's in a book A reading rainbow Imagine a cold so deep that your body's organs are frozen All that is still awake is a small portion of your brain Enough to dream and think This is how Amy, a cyrogenically frozen passenger Above the spaceship Godspeed feels my name is Hannah Cooper and I'm here to tell you about the book Across the Universe by Beth Revis. It is dystopian, sci-fi, and also non-fiction. Across the Universe begins with the freezing of Amy and her parents. They are placed on the chase spaceship Godspeed and the ship soon departs, heading for a new Earth 300 years in the future. The ship is occupied by other frozen passengers along with citizens who are awake. They are led by Eldis, a tyrannical and powerful leader who fuels a ship with lies. His apprentice is Elder. Eldis tells Elder, power isn't control at all. Power is strength, and giving that strength to others. A leader isn't someone who forces others to make him stronger. A leader is someone willing to give his strength to others that they may have the strength to stand on their own. Elder believes it is a lie. Eldest only wants power, and he does not want to give strength to others. Elder resolves to stop this, and Harley, Elder's friend, stands by him. Then, fifty years before the ship lands, Amy is suddenly awakened by someone who attempted to murder her. Elder is able to save her in time, and they begin a friendship. But everything is different from Earth on the ship, and she is scared. She wishes she could go back to Earth, and says, Dreams are like that. They go in and out of memories and scenes, but they are never real. They are never real, and I hate them because they aren't. She is referring to the dreams she had about Earth when she was frozen. She wishes she had never been woken up from the f her frozen slumber. But while she is on the ship, she wants to help Elder and Harley. Together they strive to find out who tried to murder Amy and why. But Eldis is determined to stop their search in Amy and Elder's growing relationship. Elder becomes angry at Eldest, and this is the beginning of my favorite part, when the tension begins to heat up on the ship. Some unexpected things happen, but I don't want to spoil anything. In the end, there are a few surprising twists which made me want to keep reading. Also, the book is part of a trilogy, with a third soon to be hitting the shelves. Across the Universe is a book meant for anyone mature above the age of 14, especially those 14 to 17 years old. I think adults would also enjoy it, too. You can find this book anywhere at your local library or the Grafton High School Library, and also any bookstore.